what's up guys hey it's Jason here with no toning and uh, today first of all hold on before we get to today uh, I know uh, I posted yesterday about doing uh, some different speakers paired together um, I have the tracks recorded but because I double track everything um, <clears throat> I use the most budget uh, cheap way of recording um, it sounds good but it's a labor intensive it's a lot of work for me uh, to splice everything together to get everything timed uh, you know so that I'm not sitting here talking while there's you know nothing going on or nothing going on and I'm talking you know what I'm talking about uh, to get everything tracked together correctly it takes a little bit of time uh, but I'm going to show you guys some different tones that come when you pair a couple different speakers together um, <clears throat> You guys know I love Weber speakers. Um, they work great for me. Uh, I know there's all kinds of internet reviews out there. There's good, there's bad, there's middle of the road, but for us, they work. Uh, we really like them. Uh, we do use some other speakers besides Weber speakers, uh, and we're gonna include some of those in uh, the video. Um, it's some speakers that I have used at customer requests, and um, it's some speakers that, that just seem to work with certain circuits. Um, that said, uh, that is coming. Uh, I've just got to do quite a bit more editing on it and get everything put together. Uh, however, uh, I had some questions about some of the videos I had done as far as wiring and as far as, you know, I don't use a whole lot of pedals. I use, you know, mostly modulation, a reverb or a delay. Uh, and that's exactly what you're hearing right, what you heard. Uh, just this Fender Jaguar, um, using the selector switch to switch back and forth between the bridge and the combined position of the pickups. And I do have it in P90 mode, not humbucker. Um, and then playing with my volume control. So I had a lot of questions as far as, hey, you know, what's the secret here? How does this work? And, okay, so we'll go back over it again. The main thing is, it's just like anything else with any type of musical instrument or anything. You have to practice. You've got to play with it. You've got to be, you have to have time to sit down and figure out what works for you and what works for each instrument you're going to use or each amp you're going to use or the combination of all of them. Uh, this particular Jaguar, uh, it took me quite a while to get to where I wanted it. Um, it is wired Les Paul 50 style. Yes, it only has two controls, but you can still wire it Les Paul 50 style. Uh, it has a three-way selector switch, bridge, combined, neck, and then it has a switch up here that lets me run this humbucker either in humbucker mode or in P90 mode. Um, the humbucker is on Eco 3, and it also uses a ceramic magnet on uh, that achieves the, the P90 function. Uh, it's a really cool setup from Sunday Handwound Pickups. Uh, anyway, oh, and the neck is a, it's an Alnico 4. Okay, I know a lot of people out there like me, they like to know what all this stuff is. What's the, uh, as far as the body of this guitar, I think it's Alder. Um, it's a Paulina, I guess I'm saying that right. Um, fingerboard, uh, which is very thin. It's not like the old days of the really thick, rosewood fingerboards those are you know those days are gone um, my strat has a really thick rosewood board my telly has a really thick rosewood board um, yeah the melody maker has a baked maple yeah so forth and so on it all contributes to your tone in some way shape form or fashion um, however uh, that aside uh, the way that I play and I'm gonna try to set this up here where you guys can really see I use my controls a lot. You know, if you want a nice, clean tone, I'll put it in the middle or even the neck. I really like the middle because I like activating this P90. I get a P90 in with this neck, it sounds really good. Uh, this is the middle with a P90. Um, and I've got my, uh, my tone is on about nine and my volume is on about nine. <laughs> Now, 
Now, if you want to get a little bit of bite in that, go ahead and pull your volume on it. If you want a little bit more brightness to it, pull your tone on up. to the bridge and then I'll just take my pinky and turn it up just that one little notch if I'm running it at nine I'll turn it up to ten <laughs> That gives whatever it is you're playing, it gives it a little depth. That sounds like it's a little further away. Versus. play get your pinky a little workout and you're not stomping pedals you're not worried about pedals you're just playing you're one with the instrument you're one with the guitar try it you might like it talk to y'all later <laughs>